in the case of some photographers, some competitions, some disciplines of photography, it's absolutely essential that we know that an image is the original image. G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope you are super well. Today I want to talk about the recent announcement from Nikon. I first saw it in my Instagram feed from Nikon Australia and the fact that Nikon is taking the subject of provenance of your images. What does that mean? The authenticity of your image, the ability to be able to make the statement that the image that is being seen is the image taken by a camera and this image is not AI or it has not been augmented. Why are camera companies interested and concerned about this? I think if you're in this space on social media or watching news and current affairs, you pretty much can't miss the fact that AI is absolutely growing and expanding into more and more areas of the world every moment. And it is certainly something that in 2023 did explode into the camera industry, especially when we have software from the biggest player in our market, Adobe, including AI now within Photoshop. And you can basically have an image which you can augment with absolute ease just simply by typing something into a prompt. Now the outcomes don't always work, but when they do work, the results are absolutely astounding. So the capacity for everyday users to now be able to change, augment, edit, just kind of do anything to an image, it's here and it's here for everybody. In the case of some photographers, some competitions, some disciplines of photography, it's absolutely essential that we know that an image is the original image. Examples of this are in news, reportage and documentary, but also in science and also say in law enforcement where you're taking photographs of a scene, a crime scene, all of these images need to be authentic and to be able to prove that they're authentic is pretty critical. I've already read online some people saying that these safeguards will be able to be hacked. The reality is that everything in this world is hackable, scammable, and it just comes down to the barrier for entry. Right now, there's very little authentication in this space. I believe that Leica with the M11P, it is the first camera on the market to include this. And now with this statement from Nikon, they are saying to us that it will be rolling out in future products. Now, I think that use of the word products is very interesting. They haven't said cameras. And I'm pretty sure that I saw an article a week or two ago talking about this happening. It was including Nikon in it. So I suppose when we have a flagship like the Z8 or the Z9 in the market, these are highly professional, expensive cameras. We'd certainly hope, considering those cameras will continue to be sold and in the market for a long time to come, at least another two years, I would say, for the Z9 before it, we might see a Z9 II. The Z8 is not even a year old. So I'm hoping that when Nikon states products in their press release, products includes firmware. Firmware is a product from my perspective, hopefully Z8, Z9, maybe even ZF. Perhaps this is something that can be rolled out to anything XP7. And maybe it can be rolled out to any camera. Although my guess is there's some computing power required to authenticate each image on the fly. Now, how I believe this is working is that the image is actually coded within the image. Humans can't see it. It's a little bit like a QR code, but not within the image. In other words, a digital watermark. Invisible to the human eye, but computers can pick it up when they've got the key to unlock it. And thus, will it look something like we have here? 
a QR code embedded within the pixels. Now, of course, we won't be able to see it. Computers will be able to interpret it, but I do think it might be something like this, although I'm not exactly sure how the implementation works. Scan this QR code and see where it takes you. Now, I expect that takes some computing power to get that digital watermark to exist invisibly within the pixels of your image. I suspect there's something more to it than simply an emboss or simply a watermark as we traditionally know them. But I might be wrong about that. So let's assume product means firmware, firmware means any XP7 camera. Now, future products, obviously, I would expect it to come in definitely all future cameras, definitely in the mid to high end cameras that professionals are using. Perhaps camera companies won't believe it's necessary for more entry level cameras. My thought about that is though, is that any camera can be picked up and used for an art competition or for gathering evidence at a crime scene and so on. So the ability to have this feature from my perspective probably should be in all cameras if it's technologically possible at this point in time. This is really exciting news and I think, I think Nikon are the first company publicly to put out a press release saying that this is coming soon. Like I said, Leica already has it. No sign of it coming to previous Leica cameras, but certainly we have this specific M11 model. Agency France Press has stated that the AFP is proud to unite our strengths with Nikon to address the critical matter of image provenance. Together we aim to elevate the standards of professional journalism and foster a renewed sense of trust within the public sphere. Through this partnership we are poised to develop the way images are sourced, verified and shared, ensuring an unwavering commitment to authenticity and transparency. Together we work towards a future where the truth matters, empowering individuals and institutions with accurate and reliable information. AFP is a leading global news agency providing fast, comprehensive and verified coverage of the events shaping our world and the issues affecting our daily lives. Drawing from an unparalleled news gathering network across 151 countries, AFP is also a world leader in digital verification. What Nikon is trying to achieve beyond the current verification methods which rely on the attached metadata, which can be removed, as I said before, this watermark will be embedded within the actual image. It's actually there. It's just humans can't perceive it. This is fantastic, as I said before, for photographic competitions, journalism, and anywhere that proof that this is the original image from the camera and it is untouched is super critical. Now, how this works moving forwards in regards to, let's say you bring a raw file into Adobe or into Capture One or any other software, how will it address changes being made in those files? Right now, I think we're too much in the early days of all of this, but my best thought around that is any changes, software like Photoshop and Capture One, they can see this watermark, they take that into account, and if any adjustments are made to a file, let's say brightness, contrast, saturation, and so on, just, just minor adjustments when it comes to not pixels, as in changing pixels, but just what we could traditionally do in a dark room by essentially just changing the lighting properties of an image, then perhaps too that information can be added to another area of the image. I don't believe that this is being talked about yet, but I certainly think it's something worth being able to add because obviously an image, for example, in a news gathering environment, you might very quickly be taking shots because you have a very fast moving unfolding environment and you squeeze off a quick shot that's perhaps really underexposed but of course our cameras they have so much dynamic range so you need to make an adjustment yet this is still the original file this is still what you originally captured. I hope that level of editing is able to be included 
and if it's not already being included it is included in future versions of what this watermarking can do of course that's not something that nikon needs to be responsible for their software as well could also handle it of course but this is something that the software makers need to be able to add to the story i actually think in this world where we hunt for images someone like me i hunt for finding a piece of art in an unusual place just to boil it into a few words or journalism or whether it's got something to do with the law any area where provenance as in the authenticity of the file where did it come from who did it come from has it been edited i think this is really important based on the world that we're now moving into where ai is already good and it is not going to take very long from everything that I read before it's going to be spectacular. And AI is an exponential, it's exponentially getting better. So it's going to accelerate very, very quickly. So I really want to be able to say, yep, this is my file. I've done nothing to it. This is actually what I saw, what I captured, what I did. I'd love to know your thoughts about this in the comments below. How important is it to you to say to your audience, this is the file that I captured, whether it's a bird in flight doing something amazing, capturing a fish out of the water, whether it's on the Olympic sports field and something miraculous happens, or whether it's capturing a piece of art. How important is it to you that you're able to unequivocally say to your viewers, yep, yeah, this is the image that I caught on the day and I haven't done anything to it other than made it a bit brighter or a bit more contrasty, or a bit more saturated, for example. Let me know in the comments below. I, I just think of all the topics that photography is now facing, you know, there's numerous issues. For example, are iPhones going to take over? I think this one is super critical just simply because of the power for computers to generate anything. And I'm seeing it. I've seen it evolve over the last year, and it's just getting better and better by the month. All right, I'd love to know your thoughts in regards to all of this. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like. Bye for now. Okay.